Hello everyone, welcome to today's lecture. In our today's lecture, we are going to learn about another data cleaning task. Uh, in our previous lecture, we have learned uh, missing data or uh, we have also learned how to handle uh, missing values. In our today's lecture, uh, we are going to learn about how we can remove the noise from the data. So for that, uh, let us understand what is a noise. So noise is a random error or a variance in a measured variable. Suppose you are measuring the temperature of your body, yes. But if thermometer is uh, faulty, then you are measure, then your measured value will be uh, wrong, yes. So so that is the uh, variance or the errors in your measured variable. So that uh, data is wrong. That is why it becomes the noise. Yes. So that is uh, so. All the types of data is also called the noise. And noise in the data may be in uh, a random noise in the data may be introduced due to some reasons. Uh, reasons like fault in data collection instruments, error introduced at a data entry by a human or a computer, data transmission error, technology limitations, uh, inconsistency in naming convention. Yes, all are the reason. By, by that reason, uh, the noise in the data will introduce. Uh, other data problems or other types of uh, noise in the data like unknown encoding. Suppose you have one column of gender. So gender contains only a two value, male or male or female. Yes? But uh, people are writing some other values like A, B, C, X, Y, Z. So that values are become the noise. Second reason is out of range values. Suppose you are asking for the temperature and people write so 1004 degree. So that is not a relevant uh, for our day to day life. Yes. Suppose you are asking for the age and someone writes uh, 2005 uh, and uh, 2005 age value of a human. So that is also not a valid value. Inconsistency in entries like you are asking for the date of birth. So someone writes uh, 10 February 2003 and in the age field uh, he is writing uh, 30. So the birth date and age will not match. Yes, so that is called the inconsistent entries. Inconsistent format. Suppose you are uh, asking for the birth date. So someone writes uh, 11 February 1984. Someone writes 2 11 2007. Yes. The format is different so that all types of data are called the noise so we have to room we have to remove that noise for the further processing so for remove the noise or we can say that to polish your data there are multiple techniques that are available available to handle the noisy data so there are mainly three types of technique uh, and using the techniques we can handle the noisy data First is a binning method, second is a clustering, and third is a regression. Yeah, so binning method smooth a sorted data by consulting a neighborhood that is the value around it. The sorted values are distributed into a numbers of buckets, beans, and because binning method consults a neighborhood or neighborhood values, they perform a local smoothing. Yes, yeah, so by smoothing we are uh, deleting or we are cutting the non we are cutting the noisy data uh, binning can be done by the three methods which is smooth by bin means smooth by bin median and smooth by bin boundaries second method is clustering it is used to detect and remove outliers and third is a regression so it is used uh, by smooth uh, fitting the data into the regression function so in our today's lecture we are uh, going to learn only a one method which is a binning method uh, the rest tools are the rest tools will learn in our uh, later session let's let's understand binning with some example so as i said that uh, binning has a three methods smoothing by bin means smoothing by bin medians and smoothing by bin boundaries so first uh, uh, so the binning method can be used for smoothing the data mostly data is full of noise so data smoothing is a data pre-processing technique using a, a different kinds of algorithm to remove the noise from the data set so this allows important patterns to stand out yes so by using this method we can remove the noise from the data so to understand that let's uh, let's understand how we can 
create a beans of the data so first thing is uh, how to create so it has a mainly a two methods first is equal depth partially or also we can say that equal frequency or equal height yes so the first method is equal depth partitioning it is also called uh, equal frequency or the equal equal height partitioning so uh, the in this method the entire range is divided into n intervals each contains approximately the same number of samples so this is a good data scaling so to understand let's uh, to understand this method let's uh, uh, consider one example and for that let's uh, uh, let's take one uh, data points so the data points are suppose 4 8 9 15 21 21 24 25 26 uh, 28 29 and 34 so this is the data of your database suppose so the first step for any binning method is sorting the data okay into the ascending order so first uh, let's sort this data uh, so as uh, by showing the data this data is already sorted yes so suppose if you have some data and the data is not sorted so the first thing is you have to sort that data after sorting the data the data points are this suppose these are the sorted data points yes so now if uh, now uh, you wanna bin the data or you wanna part uh, you want to divide the data into the bins so for that uh, so for that you have to create a bins suppose you want to create a three bins so let's create a bin one bin two and bin three yes so there are a three bins and so you have to uh, divide the data in such a way that each bin has the equal data so if i take this four data values then uh, we can say that it creates a equal data points in a each bins bins means you can consider each bin as one bucket suppose you have one bucket and you have to uh, fill that bucket equally so that concept is same as the binning uh, same as the binning so now let's fill that bin like with 4, 8, 9 and 15. Second bin is 21, 21, 24 and 25. Third bin is 26, 28, 29 and 34. So now it is up. Now the data point is ready for uh, further process. So this is a simple uh, simple method from from that we can create a uh, so this is one simple method and by using this method we can uh, create a bins of the data or we can divide the data so this is the first way in exam there are some sums uh, and in that uh, sum mostly the equal depth partitioning or mostly the equal depth partitioning is uh, asked so this is very important method the second uh, partitioning method is The second method is equal width, equal width, okay. So it divides the data into an intervals of equal size. Yes. So it is something like suppose this is a data. So we have to divide the data into the equal width, not in the equal depth. Yes. So in the first method, in the equal uh, depth method, we are 
dividing the data point into the equal depths while in the uh, equal width measure we have to divide the data points into the equal width so this is the basic concept so, so for that uh, if we want to find the bin width so the equation for bin width is equals to max value minus mean value divided by number of data points so this is the equation for uh, bin width suppose you have a data range of 1 0 to uh, 100 and you want to divide the data into the equal bin suppose this is a 0 value and this is a 100 value and you have uh, and uh, the task is divide the data into the equal width so how you can do this so for that we will use the equation bin width is equals to here we know that maximum value is 100 minus minimum value is 0 divided by n n means means uh, in how many intervals you want to divide the data so suppose we'll take it n as a file so the the answer is become 20 so now we can uh, divide the data into the equal width but uh, the main important thing uh, uh, needs to be remembered is the first and the last bin is extended to allow a value outside the range so that is where the value is become the inst uh, infinity now if we want to divide the data into the bins then first bin is something like that second bin is something like that etc etc so the first bin is starting from the infinity okay always and uh, we know that the width of the each bins means the one the con it this suppose this is a one bin then it contains a 20 data points so this is called the bin width okay so this is uh, so if we are creating the bin uh, width then first is an infinity second is a 20 now from 20 to 40 suppose it is not a square bracket second is 40 to 60 60 to 80 80 to 100 so we are 80 to 100 so we are not writing it to 100 we will write as a infinity yes so this is a common rule that if you are uh, using the equal width fashioning then the in the first bin the first value is infinity and in the last bin the last value is a infinity so this is how we can divide uh, the, our data points into the equal bins equal width bins so there are mainly two methods in the first method we are dividing data into the equal a depth in the second method which is equal width partitioning in the in this method we are dividing data point into the equal uh, width so this is how we can uh, do this now let's understand the first method of smoothing we know that the first method is smoothing by bean means smoothing by means 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 we have to find the mean and replace the value to the bin so let's start suppose uh, you suppose we have data points like uh, 2 10 to 19 10 to 19 18 20 18 25 28 and 22 yes so these are the so these are the data points now first step is sort the data okay so we are sorting the data into first is a 2 second is a 10 third is a 18 fourth is 18 fifth is a 19 20 22 25 28 yes so now this is a sorted data 
after sorting the data suppose in the exam you have a question like uh, divide the data into the bins of size 3 so now we will consider n equals to 3 yes this value is already given in the exam with the method equal deft part partitioning yes so here also uh, two things is provided by uh, provided in the question like uh, the value of n and which method you have to use for partitioning the bins or partitioning the data so here the method is equal depth now you have to do it by equal uh, smoothing by means so we all know how we can partitioning the data with the equal depth now we have value of n so the beans created are bin 1 bin 2 and bin 3 yes because the value of n equals to 3 so we are we have to create a three bins each bin contains the equal value yes so we know that there are uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 data points so for the equal partitioning of the data or for equal uh, division each contains a three data points yes so the first three data points are lies are reside in the bin 1 so second three are in a bin 2 and and last third last three are in a bin 3 okay so the task is done so this is a step 2 in step 3 you have to smooth the data by the bin mean now what is the meaning of mean how we can find the mean yes so in our previous lecture i will show you how, what is the equation for the mean so mean equals to a uh, number of data points sum of data points divided by numbers of data points so this is the equation of mean so we have uh, now we have to find the mean of each and every bin so the third step is the third step is calculate the mean of each bin now bin 1 is equals to 2 10 18 so mean equals to 2 plus 10 plus 18 divided by 3 so so is equals to 30 divided by 3 is equals to 10 yes so the median value of bin 1 equals to 10 now bin 2 is equals to 2 18 19 20 yes so 18 plus 19 plus 20 mean 2 yeah 1 it is a mean 1 divided by 3 so what is the sum so 57 divided by 3 is equals to 19 and m3 is equals to sorry bin 3 is equals to 22 25 28 so it becomes m3 becomes 22 plus 25 plus 28 divided by 3 is equals to 75 divided by 3 so is equals to 25 so the value of m3 is equals to 25 so now we have the value of so now we have the value of bin 
mean one, mean two, and mean three. Yes, we have each value of we have a, a mean value of each bin. So the last step, step four, is equals to re uh, replace each value in the bin. with respective min its min value yes so at last we are we will create a three bin again bin one bin two bin three now we'll replace each value of bin with its mean value we have uh, m1 is 10 so we'll write 10, 10, 10. We, uh, we know that the value of M2 is 19. So we'll replace B2's value with 19. And we know the value of B3 is 25. So we'll replace it with the 25, 25 and 25. So now the data is generated. This data is a smooth, smooth data. So it will remove the uh, remove the noise from the data. So this is how we can calculate uh, the smoothing data by uh, bin means method. So uh, I will repeat all these steps. The first step is sort the data. First step is sort the data in the ascending order second step is uh, divide the data into uh, equal divide the data into the bins by using the equal def or equal width uh, method third is calculate the mean so we'll cal calculate the mean of each bin and the last step is replace the uh, each bin's value with its mean value so this is how we can calculate the uh, bin by means smoothing this is how we can calculate smoothing by bin means the second method is smoothing by bin median so to calculate uh, the bin median uh, first uh, we have a data points 10 to 19 18 20 18 25 28 and 22 the first step is same sort the data points so these are the sorted data points to 10 18 18, 19, 20, 22, 25, 28. Yes. After sorting the data, the third, sorry, the second step is uh, divide the data points into the bins by equal depth method. So uh, this is equal depth or equal width that is mentioned in the question. And also the n is also mentioned in the question. So here n equals to 3 and we have to divide the data into the equal depth. So we are creating bins. Uh, we are creating b three bins because n equals to three, and we are uh, dividing the date. We are dividing three, and uh, we are dividing uh, data equally so that each bin has the same value. So each contains the three value: two, ten, eighteen, eighteen hundred twenty, and twenty-two, twenty-five, and twenty-eight. So step two is also step two is complete. We are but well, now we have a beans now we have been ready the next step is calculate the median of each bin because the method is smoothing by bin median so we have to find the median median of each bin and uh, then replace the value yes so the median has a equation like n by 2 number of um, number of data points divide by 2 if the data points are even and if data points are odd then divide by 2 and round off the value so this is how we can find the median so let's uh, do it by taking the bin 1 so bin 1 has a value 2 10 and 18 yes so we have three data points so three so uh, so to calculate the uh, so to calculate the median we have three data points so 3 divided by 2 
it is a 1.5 and if we round the data uh, value then it becomes the second value so second value means the second value of bin so second value of bin is a 10 so now the value is become median value is become 10 same as in bin 2 we have three value 18 19 and 20 and also we can count the median values uh, with uh, n by 2 so we have three data points so 3 divided by 2 so it is also a second value 1.5 so by rounding by round off by rounding the value it becomes the second value so in bin 2 the second value is 19 so the median value is become the 19 same as in bin 3 we have 3 data points so 3 divided by 2 it is equals to 1.5 and uh, by rounding it is a second value so second value of bin 3 is equals to 25 now we have a median value of each bin bin 1 has a value 10 bin 2 has a value 19 and bin 3 has a value 25 so the last step is last step is replace the bin value with median values so for that we are uh, creating a bin 1 bin 2 and bin 3 so we know that the median value of bin 1 is a 10 so we'll replace all three value with the median value 10 10 and 10 we know that the median value of bin 2 is a median value of bin 2 is a 19 so we'll replace all the value with 19 and we know that median value of bin 3 is 25 so we'll replace all the value of bin 3 with the 25 so this is the final result so this is how we can uh, do the smoothing by bin median thank you so much for listening have a great day